Heatstroke kills monkeys as India suffers in searing temperatures. Here's a summary of the article. A troop of monkeys died from suspected heatstroke in India as scorching temperatures that have lasted more than a week take a mounting toll on humans and animals, media reports said Saturday. Vast swathes of the country have been sweltering in temperatures that have risen to over 50 degrees Celsius in Rajasthan state. The monkeys died in Joshi Baba Forest Range in Madhya Pradesh state where the thermometer reached 46 Celsius. We're probing all possibilities, including the possibility of conflict between groups of monkeys for water, which led to the death of 15 monkeys from a 30 to 35 strong group of monkeys living in the caves, Mishra was quoted as saying. Certain groups of monkeys which are large in number and dominate that particular part may have scared away the smaller group of monkeys from the water, Mishra said. Temperatures touched 50.3 degrees Celsius in the Rajasthan town of Churu last week, just shy of India's record of 51 degrees. In Jharkhand state, a man stabbed six others after he was stopped from filling extra water barrels at a public tank, media reported Saturday. This post received a score of 5,246, with an upvote ratio of 96%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Ironic, monkeys fighting to the death over water is exactly what's going to happen to us if we don't fix this shit. Greater than in Jharkhand state, a man stabbed six others after he was stopped from filling extra water barrels at a public tank, media reported Saturday. From the link. There's no evidence, let's wait and see, it's a myth, these people have led us to our end. Monkeys are killing each other over access to water. People do the same. Climate change disrupts food and water and people fight wars over food and water. First Australia, then India. Anyone who continues to deny the effects of climate change is really just someone too dumb to waste your time talking to. Last year the main island of Japan also saw record temperatures for an extended time. A lot of old timers keeled over. We already got a heat wave that killed a few more around a week ago. In Hokkaido. In May. This shit isn't normal. Holy shit, Hokkaido in May. We fucked this planet up. My dad has worked as an HVAC tech for the last 25 years. I mention all of this because there are so many people working in fields that require them to be out in the heat in insane working conditions that no amount of hydration can compete with. As my dad has always put it, the heat just zaps you. I can't fathom working in conditions where you're in an attic or out in the elements and the heat index is 115 to 120 degrees. This will be my first summer as a solar surveyor, designer. I will be on the rooftops in Texas for about an hour at a time. Wish me luck. Edit, thanks for all the pro tips for surviving the heat, guys. I'll be looking into them. Pavement surveyor here, get one of those chilling, cooling towels and a boonie hat with air holes on top. It will save your life. Formwork carpenter here, hope I don't cook. Returning the revenue as an equitable dividend, in fact, and allows for a higher carbon price, which, because enacting a border tax, would protect domestic businesses from foreign producers not saddled with similar pollution taxes, and also to enact their own. Or that failing to mitigate climate change will cost us 10% of GDP over 50 years. In contrast, carbon taxes may actually boost GDP if the revenue is the which taxing carbon and which in poor countries in the first place. The U.S., according to most of the $5.2 trillion in subsidies for fossil fuels, come from not taxing carbon as we should. There is general agreement among economists on carbon taxes whether you consider or it is literally econ 101 the idea. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com without any human intervention.